Welcome back to the Sanders Kitchen. I'm Mike. Hey, guess what? Today we got a great recipe for you. It's really cool. We're going to be making some alligator sauce piquant. Hey, I'm sorry, my buddy. Don't worry about it. It's, it's not you. It was your friend. Somebody else got caught in a swamp, you know? <laughs> hey, this is going to be a great recipe. Let me show you what's in the ingredients. We got one pound of farm-raised alligator, I guess, or, or it might be wild-caught, I'm not exactly sure, but I bought it at my local seafood market, and it comes in a one-pound package, and 15 bucks, too, let me tell you, it's not cheap, but it's pretty, pretty white meat, and what we're going to do is we're going to cut these babies up into smaller pieces, hammer them down a little bit, and then uh, season them, uh, brown them up, just a little bit, take them out, and then we're going to start the rest of the recipe. And this is what we'll use. Onions, we have green onion bottoms, we have some tops too for later. And then we have uh, bell pepper, celery, parsley, We've got a few toes of garlic, we have butter, some good Alta Cucina plum tomatoes right here, and uh, nice olive oil. We got some Creole season from the cook shop in New Orleans, and a little vegetable season from my old buddy Frank Davis. And, uh, and then we got some shrimp stock on the stove in the back, you know, kind of staying warm. And we're gonna just put all of this together for you. It's gonna come together real nicely, but I, the first thing I need to do is go ahead and prepare my alligator. So I want you to come along with me and watch how I do this. So we have these little chunks of alligator meat that came in the pack. And I think they need to be flattened out a little bit. So we're gonna take the flat side of the meat tenderizer and just lightly smack them just to kind of flatten them out a little bit. Here we go. And then I'm going to take the knife here and just kind of cut them in little pieces about like that. See? Now if it's already a little piece and it's kind of lumpy I'm just going to flatten it out a little bit, and that's good enough. See what I'm saying? All right, there we go. So we'll go ahead and get these finished up, and then we'll go on to the next step. Shouldn't take too long. Got some blackened redfish seasoning. Man, this is good stuff. I decided to use that. So we have all of the alligator meat pounded down, cut up into small little bite-sized pieces, and I'm just gonna lightly sprinkle. I don't wanna over-season everything, uh, just a little bit. One side's good enough. And then I'm gonna sprinkle on some all-purpose flour. You know this is one of my favorite things in the world, is to put all-purpose flour out in a shaker and shake it on, you know? So, now, I'm gonna get the skillet, I mean the pot, and get the pot ready to go. Uh, turn that fire on high. I'm gonna put a couple of tablespoons of butter in. We're gonna put some olive oil in too, because we're getting ready to brown up some alligator meat, y'all. Yeah, gonna get that nice and hot. And now, I'm going to take my alligator and finish up with it. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Okay. Get more flour on it. And while that's heating up, I'm just wrapping up the little extra flour on my alligator meat. And when this gets nice and hot, which is only going to take another minute, then we'll start frying the alligator meat down. We just want to brown it up a little bit, not much. So while that's getting nice and hot, let me tell you, I've fished in Louisiana swamps all my life. And it's not uncommon to see a big alligator or a small alligator. There's alligators all over the place. They don't really bother you unless you bother them maybe, but I've never had one actually deliberately come and try to attack me. So I never really was afraid of alligators, but now 
when we went to go stay at the camp a, t a few times, you know, the alligators come up and they expect you to feed them. And that's not a good thing because you don't want to start feeding them and then they start coming back with their friends and then you got alligators all over the place, you know. True story. Okay. So, let's go ahead and see, is it hot enough? It's getting there. It's getting there, almost. It's not gonna take long, it's only one pound. So we're gonna brown all of this stuff up. Here we go. It won't take long. Put all of this in here. Come on, get in there. Ooh, ooh, that smells good, yes. You know, I've eaten alligator meat before. It's not, it's not new to me. Uh, you can deep fry it. it. It'll get nice and crispy. It'll taste like a pork chop. Uh, my mother said, oh, I don't think I'm gonna eat any alligator. Uh, well, you eat crawfish. You eat raw oysters. <laughs> I mean, who's the first person to ever eat a raw oyster, for heaven's sake, right? Man, they're brown enough, you can tell. Can you see a few of those pieces getting brown? That's what we're looking for. They're going to be nice and tender. All right, so what we're going to do is finish browning off all of the gator meat. And then we'll put the meat in this little bowl and we'll start working on our veggies. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. Okay. Well, we got the fire on high right now. So, let's just go ahead and go in with the onions. Mmm. -hmm. Put my little green onions in there too. Some bell pepper. By the way, all the ingredients will be in the description. A little parsley. And about, I think I got about five or six small toes of garlic. So, we're just going to work on sauteing this down. And my trusty little wife is over there with some red wine. And we're going to deglaze that pot with a little red wine right now. Okay. So, man, this is going to come together quick. I'm going to go ahead and add in, oh, let's see, about a tablespoon of vegetable seasoning. And uh, I got some Creole seasoning from the cook shop. We're going to go in with a tablespoon of that right now. Let's, let's give this a few more minutes, okay? We're going to... We're going to go ahead and saute this for about five more minutes, get those veggies nice and soft, and then we'll come back and start adding in the rest. Man, those vegetables look so tender, and it smells so good. Oh, man, it is time, baby. It is time. It's time to put the tomatoes in. So we got about two whole cups tomatoes right here. Gotta have some tomatoes. And of course you know I'm using my favorite tomato, my Alta Cucina plum tomatoes. And since they are plum, I'm gonna have to break them up a little bit with this little masher. But they're gonna cook nicely. Okay. We'll get that out of the way. Mix this up a little bit. See that? Look how nice that came together. Beautiful, huh? All right. 
All right, I'm kick my fire up a little bit. Time to put my, my alligator back in. The alligator is now in. And there's one more thing I need to go get. And it's on the back stove, so let me go get it right now. Okay, ooh, ooh, that's looking good. Okay. I couldn't think of anything better to put in my alligator sauce pecan other than some homemade seafood stock. Now this ladle is a full eight ounces. So I just put two cups. Two cups right there. Let me go ahead and get the third cup in here. Okay, look at that. And my fourth cup is gonna be a glass of water. Okay. There we go. Now, look at that, how pretty. So you see how pretty this is? It's not going to be a real super thick gravy, but it'll be thick enough. The flour that's on the alligator is all going to come off and it'll, it'll help thicken it up a little bit. It's going to be really good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take some of these green onion tops. Because this is some serious flavor right here, I'm telling you. Going to add some of those green onion tops in there. And it's time to add in a little bit more of this uh, Creole seasoning from the cook shop. Let me stir that in. Look how nice, dark, and rich that is. Ooh, isn't that pretty? Oh, let me get a spoon. Let me get a spoon. All right, how we doing? Mmm, ooh, that's good, that's good. So now, where are we? We're just gonna let this simmer for about an hour. And we're gonna stir it about every 10 minutes or so, you know, maybe five minutes. Um, Cause it's coming up to a little bubbly boil now and that's about where we want it. And we're just gonna simmer this baby for at least an hour. I'm gonna make sure the alligator's nice and tender. And then we're gonna show you how good it is. And that's how easy this recipe is. So we'll see you in about an hour, guys. That sauce pecan looks so good. The alligator meat is so tender. Mmm, it's delicious. I can't wait to try it. So let me go ahead and get some in my bowl. Mmm. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Man, that's beautiful. And you know I gotta make this look pretty. Okay, and I need a few little green onions in there. Let me cut up a few of these little green onion tops because I love some fresh green onion tops right in there like that. And then I'm gonna get me a little rice, just a little scoop of rice, look at that. Put that rice smack in the middle. That's how I like to do it. And you know, you can even take a little fresh cut parsley and just drizzle it right on top. Now, isn't that pretty? That is beautiful. Look at that. And then I'm gonna move this over here for right now because Miss Pam made me some fresh bread. You know, she's got a recipe on how to make this no need bread and it's delicious. Look at this, look. Isn't that a gorgeous hunk of bread? I'm going to go ahead and see if I can get me a nice, oh it's crunchy now. Probably need a serrated knife to get into that. Look at that. Ooh man, look at how pretty that is. Did I get myself a spoon? I forgot. Man, here we go. 
So let me give it a try. This is gonna be so good, I can't wait to dig in. Mmm. Get a little rice off the side. Getting me a nice little piece of alligator right there. Mmm. 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 Oh man. Oh man. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Man, that is so good. It's amazing. And alligator is tender. It's not chewy. Mmm. Mmm. The flavor of all those veggies and that and that uh, seafood stock we make. Oh my God. It is so good. Mmm. Mmm. The meat is very, very, very tender. So, I, I, I love this so much, I could just sit here and eat it all in front of you right now. But I know I gotta close out this video, so I'm gonna just tell you. All the ingredients are gonna be in the description. Don't be afraid to go get you some alligator and pound it flat, season it, brown it off a little bit. Ten, it's, and as long as you cook it for about an hour, simmer, it's going to get nice and tender. You're going to love it. Give us a thumbs up on my video. And subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. If you have, thank you so much. We love you guys. I love the comments from all over the world. I love hearing your comments. And, uh, and don't forget, if you want to know about our, the videos as soon as they come out, hit the notification bell too. So anyway, from my house to yours, have a great week. Go make you some alligator sauce pecan, and God bless you.